Hunt. Uh, my name is Shiram Tadan, and I'm uh, the marketing manager for Silicon Labs for our microcontroller products. And so today we're going to be talking about redefining low power um, with silicon sy systems and software techniques. So um, low power is important for a lot of different reasons, and it's uh, important for, um, you know, d depending on um, your, your system, it could be important for extending the battery life. So, I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? If you have a, uh, a lower power system, then you can get a longer battery um, life, which is going to be better for your end customers. Um, but better for you, it could be lower cost. So um, even if you're not in a battery-powered system, just by uh, lowering the power, you can use cheaper transformers or power sources. Uh, and so uh, again, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a net win. You can increase reliability. The higher power system you have, the higher temperature it's running, and over the lifetime, higher temperature systems uh, tend to fail uh, more often. And then there's also um, lots of energy compliance and you know, just feeling good about the environment, but more and more compliance um, issues are, are coming into play, so it's really important to, uh, to, to get lower and lower power. 10 years ago, um, 15 years ago, no one necessarily cared um, in a high power system. If you were plugged into the wall, it didn't matter how much power you were taking. But more and more, um, you know, with vampire power and other things, it is really important, even in systems plugged into a wall, to reduce the power as much as possible. 